morning, afternoon or evening folks, this is Conf42 Goline 2023, the perfect spot to say hello to fellow gophers from outer space. Before we jump in, please let me invite you to our Discord server, where you can have a chat with all attendees and speakers. Com42 Golang was made possible by our amazing silver sponsors and media partners. We opened the event with a session by Lies Lima, software engineer at Globo. What I learned creating a CLI with Go. I talk about what I learned in coding a CLI in Golang. And here is our agenda. Today we're going to talk about the Golinks project. I will show you what this project do, uh, how I built the iterative terminal, the challenge I faced, what I learned, and yeah, here we have also tiers, but we don't have a conquer of a compiler program without tiers. Am I right? Okay. <laughs> In the next lecture, you will learn how to build CLI apps using Go with Abhishek Patnik, senior software engineer at Impulses. Are you interested in building command line applications in Go, but not sure where to start? Well, look no further. With this engaging talk, I will provide you with all the information you need to build powerful, efficient, and user-friendly CLI Go applications. You don't need to be an experienced developer to attend this talk. It's perfect for beginners and with some experience in Go. Don't miss this opportunity to take your Go programming skills to the next level and discover the exciting world of CLI app development in Go. Durga Prasad Budani, Chief Technologist at Tech9, is here to show you how to unleash the power of serverless, building scalable and cost-effective applications. In this presentation, we are going to cover two most powerful technologies. One is serverless computing, and another is one of the Go popular library, GKRGen, for generating GraphQL APIs. We'll start by exploring what is serverless computing, then we'll go in more deep dive about how we can implement using AWS Lambda, and then we are going to cover what is GraphQL APIs and how we can implement using GQ Engine. In the next talk, you will learn more about Goyek using Go for automation, presented by Robert Payong, Senior Software Engineer at Splunk. Hello there, I'm Robert and I work at Splunk as an open source developer. Most of my time I'm contributing to OpenTelemetry, which is the second biggest CNCF project, just after Kubernetes. During the presentation, I will talk about using Go for automation and advertise Goyek. Goyek is used to create automation in Go. As opposed to many other tools, Goyek is just a Go library with API inspired by testing Cobra flag HTTP packages. However, I think that my presentation will be interested even for those not interested in yet another automation tool. For the next one, please join me in welcoming Hussein Babel, Principal Cloud Engineer at CubeShop, Swiss Army knife for SaaS products built with Go. In this session, we will be talking about how to build a software as a service product by using Go, what kind of technologies we can use for the project development, and how to integrate it with a CI system by using GitHub Action, and how to automate the infrastructure part by using Terraform Cloud. At the end, we will show how to integrate to Stripe for payment system. Thank you. In the next one, Jesus Espino, staff engineer at Mattermost, will address squeezing a Go function. We are going to explore concepts like benchmark and profiling, and we are going to see some examples of how you can improve your Go function's performance. We will explore also concepts like escape analysis, inlining, or allocations. Thanks for joining in. Test-driven development and Golang is the next talk by Mohamed Kanit, Product Engineering Manager at Tangram. Hi! Test-driven development is a process to convert software requirements into test cases first. So in this upcoming session, I'll be showing some ways to write to implement TDD on your Golang projects that you can use within your own company's projects or even though you're just starting out now. So make sure to join Con 42 2023, that is happening on April 20th. I'm looking forward to it. Make sure to join and learn more about Golang. Thank you. Nishant Roy, engineering manager at Pinterest, is here to introduce you to heap optimization for Go systems. Hey everyone, I hope you'll join my session on how to optimize your Go applications heap uses to improve your system's performance. 
If you work on large-scale systems in Go, I'm sure you've encountered situations where there's an inexplicable latency spike that you just can't attribute to any inefficient code. So I'm going to show you how you can use Go's built-in tools and libraries to triage whether the heap usage is to blame, and then how you can go about optimizing your application's heap usage to ensure that you're making the best use of your compute resources. So I hope you enjoy this talk and the rest of the conference, and I'll see you soon. Create the distributed database on Kubernetes leveraging your existing monolithic database will be presented by Trista Pan, co-founder and CTO of Spherex. Hello everyone, this is Trista. So as our conference, my talk is focusing on how to leverage your existing MySQL or PostgreSQL database cluster to make it become the distributed database system on the Kubernetes. Especially how to leverage Kubernetes native mechanism to reach the high availability and auto scaling features of this new database system. If you're interested in such topics, Let's meet there. See you. Abhishek Gupta, principal developer advocate at AWS, will now attempt to convince you that Go and Redis are better together. Now, I have a very, very simple agenda for you. I'll start off by setting the context about Redis and Go in general, followed by some hands on stuff and wrap up with some gotchas and things you should watch out for. Now, I cannot possibly go over or cover everything in a single talk, so I'll leave you with some resources at the end as well. And by the end of this presentation, you should have a fairly good overview of Go and Redis. Um, and this includes things like the client options you've got, uh, how can you implement common use cases and patterns? And as you start your journey with Redis and Go, hopefully some of the tips and tricks will come in handy and try and you know help you simplify that learning curve and help reduce some of that friction. Ilya Sergunin, senior software engineer at Avito, will now introduce you to transaction management and repository pattern. Hello everyone! Most of the applications work with database and have complex business rules. And we suffer when two things merge into a chaotic tangle. I am impatient to tell you how to solve this problem using a repository pattern with transactional nested use cases and long business transactions. I hope you all enjoy the conference! Mauricio Antunes, software developer at Globo, is here to tell you more about Golinks, a tool for beginners learning Golang. I'll be talking about Golinks. Golinks is a tool to help beginners to learn the Go programming language by fixing small problems. Build a complex app with TDD will be showcased by Ivan Pezenti, ninja speaker and trainer at Sorint Lab. Are you tired of the out there tutorials? that try to explain complex concepts such as test-driven development by relying only on trivial examples? If you aim to master it by building real-world applications and not only katas, this session is definitely for you. We'll create an HTTP handler of a real to-do app application that relies on an actual database. Furthermore, will use the Go programming languages, one of the most cutting-edge programming languages you can choose from. If you'd like to know more about it, don't miss my session for no reason. Stay safe and see you there. For the next one, let us welcome David Kirkumgaard, developer advocate at Stream Native. Let's go build cloud-native Pulsar apps with Go. Are you looking to develop cloud-native applications that can handle high-volume data streaming at scale? Do you want to leverage the power of open-source technologies like Apache Pulsar and Go to achieve this? Then you won't want to miss my upcoming conference talk on developing cloud-native applications using Apache Pulsar and Go. Apache Pulsar is a fast, scalable, and flexible messaging system perfect for building cloud-native applications. And when combined with Go, you have a powerful solution for building real-time applications in the cloud. So if you want to take your cloud native applications to the next level, join me for my conference talk entitled Let's Go Pulsar. I'll see you there. Art of building secure and scalable webhooks is the next session by Marvin Collins Hosio, the founder of Apps Lab. In this talk, I'm going to talk about uh, webhooks. I will start with the introduction and explain what is webhooks. 
then we will move forward to discuss the use cases and security concerns and security approaches and the uh, webbook scalability and finally i will give um, my experience um, thoughts on how when dealing with webbooks so from my personal experience i've done a lot of research developing web webbooks application and i'm sure you've had experience dealing with webbooks that in terms of whether it's integration implementation or just adding it to a third party system I will assume that you understand the concept of webbooks and I will just try to explain for those who don't know where webbooks is. In the last but not least talk today, Liam Conroy Hampton, Senior Regional Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, will tell you the good, the bad and the ugly of memory management in Go. Hello everybody, in my session I'm going to be talking about Go's memory management. We're going to be talking about the Go memory model, some best practices, and how it fares up against some other languages like Python and Rust. I'm super excited that you're here. Thank you very much for joining, and I hope you enjoy the conference. This is all we've got in store for Conf42 Golang 2023. As always, FreeRSVP unlocks all talks. Many thanks to our speakers, partners, and sponsors for making this whole thing possible, and to you for being with us and attending. We hope to see you in the Discord in a minute. That was Mark. Thank you so much and have a lovely time at Conf42 Golang 2023. Cheers.